speaking of that, going back to the 50s, the Prince of Wales, they had very few borders there. You know, it, was, it wasn't, it was, it was a hotel, but no one ever went to it. The main aspect of it was the saloon on the main floor, which was a beer hall. And it was visited by the soldiers in the camp. And the neighbors used to complain the noise from that beer hall in the Prince of Wales all those summers. I think the first beer I ever had was in that beer hall. But getting back to the 1950s, certainly the major factor there was the, was the uh, camp, the campground, which was still heavy with camp with their soldiers. They didn't do much at march and go to the rifle range. So they were on their rifle range shooting all the time. And they had little tanks, they call them gun, Bren gun carriers, little tanks who were always roaring around. They carried guns, I think. And they were over in the campgrounds a lot. But the campgrounds, there was a lot of activity over there, mostly marching in bands. It was very colorful for us kids to hear, to see them and hear those bands. Especially the bagpipe bands were great. And there were parades, a lot of parades in those days, which were fun for all up and down the main streets, and they had bands in the main streets. The brass bands, the bugle bands, were pretty big.